Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Einstein Science Fair 2019. at Little Einstein's has been very exciting. From the first start when we had come here in 2017, it has really been an experience for me and my friends. So we started off as a small group, just a small group doing some small experiments. We started with, um, with how watching TV affects you, then we moved on to how lemons power, um, power, power light bulbs, and now we are coming on to the big things the parabolic reflector that is used in many parts around the world. So, you see, the experience here at Little Einstein's, it's as if you're gaining experience every other year. As you grow up, Little Einstein's growing up with you. So, Little Einstein's is a very good enter, um, entrepreneurship um, goal that is using children, nurturing them to become big things. Excellent. 
as you can see, it's a fun on top of the dynamo. So the fun when it's when the fun spins, it bounces off the dynamo. The dynamo can turn in buttons and kind of bend it. When the fun spins, it powers up the dynamo, which charges the batteries over here. And when the wind spins this, the fan, when it will power up the, the lights and, and charge the batteries. So when they're fully charged, the lights will come on. And when the rain comes, it enters inside this panel here. It goes down to this pipe. And if you can find it, you can see that it continues. So the reason we put the straw on the floor was so that when the tank is full, it transports to the other tank. And here at the back, there is a tiny hole so that when there is remaining excess water, it pours out into the drops so that we do not waste them. Good problem solving. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, yeah, let's have her now. Let's have her, let's have her, let's go, let's go. Hey! Whip. Hey, hey. He's doing the same for Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yeah. The virus has spread. The virus has spread. Ask yourself, where was I when I was this young? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. For Kyoto, uh, it was quite an interesting experiment that they had with a lie detector. Uh, it shows how uh, science is actually taking uh, the forefront in almost everything that we do. Uh, and kids coming to know and to get involved at this early age it's more beneficial and they become more competitive, they become more articulate and we're able to not only um, see what they're doing, but even as parents, when we get involved, uh, it enables our children learn easier and better. So uh, amongst us we have, uh, her name is Valentine Joroge, Makofi Kwake Anapokucha. Let's clap for her, Valentine Joroge. So I've got something here. Who can guess what this is? It's something from Lego Engineering because I'm seeing this. Okay, you're very intelligent and you're very correct. It is. It's a it's a robot and it's from Lego Engineering. And what this robot does is he's absolutely right. You make it out of Lego. It has sensors in it. It has software in it. And you have to tell your robot what to do. So if you put a robot on the ground and you don't give it any instructions, it does absolutely nothing. But when you give it instructions, then it knows how to behave in the world. And this is what our children are like as parents. We have to give them instructions and we have to teach them about the world. We're here, we're investing in our kids, we're doing little Einsteins, they're learning STEM and science and how the world works. But there's an area that, as parents, we are scared to talk to them about, and that is their bodies. And it's important, as our kids understand how the world works, that they also understand how their bodies work, so that they can express themselves and be who they're really meant to be in the world. So, I have a course on uh, ZD.com, which helps parents talk to their children about their bodies, Certain things like, um, if, you, if you think of your child as a robot, you have to establish trust with your child so that they know whenever I ask mommy a hard question or I talk to dad, they will give me the correct answer and they'll tell me who to be in the world. When it comes to boundaries, um, are certain people allowed to touch me? Are certain people allowed to talk to me a certain way? Then you tell your child how to behave in the world. So the course covers this. And the course is called Kids and Buddies, and I'm going to leave you now. I was given five minutes to speak. Thank you so much for having me.
so much. That is for you, the parents. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Kids, you can sit down. Yeah. We, we tried to look at how you performed as a team. I must say, all of you were working together. There's a lot of teamwork, and it's very hard to choose the best. So congratulations. Atomic Girls, you are the best overall in terms of teamwork. As you are aware, it's quite difficult to hear in this room. And you had a huge challenge, kids, to be able to put your presentations across, to give your answers, to prove your hypothesis. For clarity of expression, the award goes to the team Blue Dolphins. Yeah, Dolphins! And so the next category is about knowledge achieved. So the winner for this category is none other than Detect a Lie. Yay! Yeah. So the team that won originality and creativity did not get it by chance, no. They worked for it and we all felt like it was just um, never before seen. So I would like to announce the winners of their of their originality and creativity, the Flash. The Flash over there, they won for the category of originality and creativity. It was really fun to be judging, um, especially since there's so many very, very young children um, participating. And I'm excited to announce that in the mathematics category, the winner was Curious Kids. This category is engineering. Mystical scientist, mystical scientist, mystical scientist, where are you? And I think that is very strong survival. Uh, as we go to the next category, which is technology. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Let's use that entry. Let's use that entry. MC Hammer. Awesome, 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 awesome. I say EMC Hammer, they're saying it's Hammer time. Ah, uh, the next category, your animal and environmental science. The green movement. The green oh. movement. All right, that is a green movement. And now we're moving to our next category, pure sciences. Franklin Scientist. <laughs> Honorary mentions and uh, our presenter is uh, our one and only Mrs. Mogore Jendu, Mrs. Mogore Jendu, and Miss Sandra Duati. Hey, come on, come on, come! Let's go, Tukua. Weke lea. Simple, let's do that. Let's go, Tukua. Weke lea. We are here to award uh, the honorary mention, and we have Newton, Keldenich. All right, here he's gone. I hope I'm mentioning your name in the right way. These honorary mention, these guys stood out in their various categories and in their various teams and they did a very good job and uh, that's why we honor them. Are you ready for the best of our Alwina? Are you ready? And we want to say that the winner is all together Green Movement! Yeah! Where's the Green Movement? Uh, come on stage, the Green Movement, come on stage. It's been a long time coming for them. Look at them, looking all good. They just uh, can't take smiles the green out of their faces. We can have their teachers coming on stage, all their teachers also. All teachers, join us, join us, join us. Green Movement, Green Movement. They are doing movement. I found the whole day very, very, very interesting. More than beyond awesome. And um, it was quite um, nerve wracking going through the whole judging experience and talking on stage, but I'm glad I made it through. Today's uh, was a very exciting day at uh, Little Einstein Science Fair 2019. Uh, very interesting projects um, covering maths, physics, science. We even saw children coming up with light detectors and uh, medicines. We are from actually from Nakuru. It's a really amazing event. And, uh, I wish uh, you know more uh, schools would participate because there's a lot of talent out there, and I'm sure we can 
I harness a lot of this talent. My name is Sandy and I had a great time at the science fair. From the Curious Kids one day. Yes, the Curious Kids for the mathematics category. So. Yes, we nailed it. It's really exciting to, as a parent to be able to bring your child and to get them excited about science, get them loving science because it's not, it shouldn't just be considered as uh, a subject in school. It's something you actually have a passion in and love and want to explore. So for us it was an exciting trip. The Little Einstein Science Fair 2019 was the third of its kind being held. The first event was held in 2017. This year, we held it at the Aga Khan High School in collaboration with Santop, the key sponsor for this event. Together with Santop, GA, YSK and Safaricom, we were able to pull a very successful event. With over 25 teams participating in this year's event, the competition was obviously very, very steep. But at the end of the day, the Green Movement ended up being the overall winners. And we want to say that the winner is, all together, Green Movement! We're exhibiting different projects based on our pure sciences, animal and environmental sciences, engineering, technology and mathematics. We'd like to thank everyone who helped us to make this event a success and thank you to all the children who participated, the parents who helped out, as well as the Little Einstein's team.